I'm Edie Lush, and I'm here inside the Hub Culture Studio, Davos 2023. A man who needs no introduction, because I think it might be our 13th. We've been doing these interviews since 2009. Yeah. Lucien, Lucien, what is the update from you? Now, we've got a new thing called the Up Game. What's the update on the Up Game? Yeah, well, thank you. Great to be back here, Edie. Yeah. Great. I love, love everything Hub. Um, and it's been a busy year for, for the Up Game. We, we kind of fully launched last year. We did five games all around the world. And what the Up Game is, it's, the, it's an immersive reality game where we bring, if you like, athletes of transformation, people at the forefront mm. of creating the future, to spend six days outside of regular time in a co-created role play immersion mm -hmm. where everything we've envisioned for ourselves, for our communities, for our organizations, for society and for the planet has happened. Interesting. And so all good things. All have good things. Happened. The the idea here being is that, you know, we've really been conquered by dystopia right now. Mm. Dystopia is the prevalent story in the world. So many people have given up hope for the future and we need a new story. We need to galvanize people and re-enchant people into what's possible for the future and excite people in, in the way that the World Fair once did. Mm. And so what we're doing is we're inviting 48 people at a time across four teams. We have the water team, which is about community and belonging. We have the fire team, which is about society, culture and economy. We have the air team, which is about all life flourishing to our fullest potential. Mm -hmm. And we have the earth team, which is all about the planet and how do we rise to the, 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 the needs of the planetary age and, and, and reaching planetary health. And what we do is we create these day-long immersive experiences with each team that allow, allow us to touch the visions and actually experience what does the world look like when we rise to this occasion? So that collective intelligence, what's come out of it? What kind of things have emerged as a result of it? So it's everything very pragmatic, um, solutions that exist around, uh, around climate data, around creating a data commons. It might be solutions around gender and culture that relate to that. Um, we're developing a new planetary language called Gaian that goes okay. beyond the spoken word. And we're looking at ways we can go deeper in our ability to communicate and... Um, telepathy? Telepathy is part of it. Emojis is part of it. Memes okay. are part of it. Right. Immersive, we're going to be developing a whole, the whole United Planet Metaverse, which will be, we like to call it the Betaverse. Good. But it'll be okay. a, a, an immersive world where we take all of these stories that come through the games uh, and give people the ability to touch and feel the future uh, in a way that inspires, in a way that gives us the ability to form teams and, and, uh, and communities around these, around these transformations. We call them upgrades. Fantastic. Lucien, I can tell the time is up because, in fact, the screen behind us has changed. So you're going to have to come back and tell me a little bit more about the up game, maybe even next year. We'll see. Lucien, thanks very much for stopping Such by the Hub Culture Studio, as always. And I'm Edie Lush. Mm -hmm.